All right, today it's time to do some plumbing. Plumbing with buns. She's gonna help. You can see I got the uh, rock in there. We'll talk about that some other time. And I got my helpers here. Uh, my retriever that does not retrieve. Very useless. So today, the plan is to plumb this up. Spend hours doing a really simple task, but it's just so time consuming. Um, let me show you what I got. So I ordered these gate valves off of flexpvc.com and they're a lot cheaper on my 120 I got them from I think bulk resupply and they're I don't know 20 30 bucks a piece on there I think these were 10 or 11 and the only thing that happened is I messed up and I got threaded by mistake because uh, I can't read very well uh, bad education so I had to order some more parts to make it work. Just order some adapters uh, from Lowe's and we're good to go. Okay, it's about um, 15 hours uh, later and I've only done these three drain lines so far. This stuff takes forever, I'm just slow. Um, so everything's lined up, looking pretty good. Uh, hopefully there's no leaks. If there is, I mean, it should be easily repairable. You know, hopefully the, the bulkheads don't leak because uh, that would just be a pain. The next step that we got going on will be to actually run the drain lines down into here. And I did a little uh, modification over here as well um, to this. So this kind of fits a little bit better. There's an O-ring that sits on top. So that should be good. The next step here will be to run the gate valve in there. So we'll go ahead, let me see if I can get this and plumb it up to here. I don't know if I want to go right up to it. That might give me the cleanest look. Just go right up to it and then drop down. Eh, maybe I'll do a little bit of red showing just to make it, I don't know, fit the theme. And then we'll go down here, and uh, hopefully everything lines up. And I'm going to do a union right on the top of these, so if I ever need to do it, I don't need to unscrew uh, these pieces. I could just pop off that union. It'll just be easier for me. And then I'll worry about these two right now, get those in there, and then this one I'll do uh, after that. But priority is two, two lines that are going to be draining most of the water. Yeah, that's where we're at. It's a huge pain in the ass. All right, another 15 hours later. Time for another progress update. All three drain lines are now secure. So everything is, is good to go. Um, this one, I mean, of course, it's gonna has a little bit of play. Um, I might get a bracket for that one. I might not. It doesn't bother me all that much. And it's just an emergency, so... This should never really have any any real water in it. Um, and if it does, you know, it would be for a, a short period of time. So it's plenty fine like that. Um, everything worked out good. No real mistakes. I'm gonna try to uh, get those lines off, these lines. You use these lines to get your angles right, uh, especially if you're trying to, to keep something straight like this. If I didn't do that, this, you know, might have ended up facing this way or over that way. So you draw these lines and then when you're uh, gluing them together, you just make sure you, you match up the lines. Uh, this one, it looks like I got away with out matching them up very good. That one's a little off, uh, but it all worked out. Uh, you can see some more right there. So now we're gonna move into phase two, I suppose. I guess we can call it a three phase project, which is going to be one drain lines, and then the next would be the return pump in the manifold, and then I guess three will be the actual returns running up. So like I said, hopefully those go up and behind. So uh, since this is uh, one and a quarter, I have my one and a quarter line right here, and a little reducer down to one inch. 
So that will go in just like that. And then I'll run up uh, the one inch and we'll go ahead and do the manifold. This shouldn't take me as long uh, to do this part at least, uh, just because it's not as delicate as doing these drain lines, especially here. You gotta measure everything up, make sure everything looks good, do your lines so you get your angles right, and then you gotta glue it, and gluing takes forever. Uh, it's all just very time consuming, it's not necessarily challenging. Um, and hopefully, it doesn't leak. And the progress update. This is about as far as I'm gonna get for the night. Um, I have to come back through tomorrow uh, and touch up a few things. You know, the manifold is, is nearly done. It's glued all the way up until um, this pipe going up, up on that union. That'll be, of course, the return. We go from the one inch up to the reducer, three quarter inch reducer, and then we have a T. And then on each side of the T, I'll put a ball valve so I can control the, the flow. Um, the only problem I'm seeing on, it will be a problem on this one, will be lining up the bulkhead here with the connection. So that's as far as I'm going to make it for the night. And so I'll update you guys tomorrow. Okay, this is my update three weeks later when I finally got the plumbing done. It took me all Sunday and I didn't get anything done on Monday, nothing done on Tuesday. No, I finished it on Tuesday, I think. And now it's Thursday. Couldn't test it um, on Wednesday, because I had a Christmas party to go to. It was a great, great time. And let's see. So, all the returns are done. Uh, sorry, drain lines. The returns, we're going to hook up this pump. Got the manifolds here. Uh, these are little plastic conduit uh, clamps. Those are holding that secure. And then we take you to the other side. So the return line runs up through here. Had to make it do a little a couple turns, little zigzags. Uh, and then we go up here to the T, and this is where it splits off to the other side, and then it goes up here. I wanted to maybe try to add a union here, uh, but with the space between the back of the stand, it wasn't gonna fit. So then I have ball valves to control the flow on each side. I have them closed off right now because the tank is almost full. And there's not much out as far as the plumbing. Now I just need to test it out. Oh, one more thing, actually. In the overflow box, we have the full siphon and then the open channel and then the emergency drain. So I put a little... Um, a little 90 on there. I don't know if it's going to be necessary or if it's going to do anything, but we're going to find out and we're going to see if this leaks. If you don't ever hear from me again, it's because I burned the house down because because it leaked.